Are you currently looking for a job or nagpe-prepare ka na for your next job interview? For sure, napunta ka dito because you're searching for videos na makakatulong sa'yo. Well, you don't have to worry no more dahil nasa right channel ka na. Because here at Metacom, bukod sa guides and tips like this one, ay pwede pwede ka rin mag-apply because we have tons of job opportunities for you, especially here in the BPO industry. Hello there once again, this is Jamie. And in this video, I bibigyan kita ng tips on how to answer the top 9 most common job interview questions in a call center. So ano, ready ka na ba? Let's get into the video! Well, ano nga ba yung reason or purpose bakit tinatanong ng interviewer yung question na to? Well, unang-una sa lahat, napaka-basic kasi ng question na to na definitely ay alam mo ang sagot. And it's all about you and it's also a way of the interviewer para mag nila how well do you know yourself. And also, binibigyan ka nila ng chance or opportunity in this question na ipakilala mo pa yung sarili mo dahil for sure, maraming bagay pa ang hindi mo naisulat or nailagay sa iyong resume or curriculum vitae. Aside from that, it's also a way ng mga interviewers para condition ka or iset yung mood para maganda yung maging flow ng interview. And alam mo ba na merong proper format on how to structure your response so you can answer the tell me something about yourself question effectively and that is the SEAT method which stands for skills, experiences or educational attainment, achievements in life, and what type of person are you? Now, let me give you an example on how to do this. Okay, Erica, so now can you tell me something about yourself that's not written in the CV? Okay, so I appreciate you you inviting me to the job interview today. My skills closely meet the requirements of the position, and I'm a solid team player, a quick thinker, and a creative individual who will help you boost sales. I'll be an excellent example for the company. My education and experience are perfect fit for this field. Therefore, I can benefit the company right away, and um, I'm a higher achiever. For instance, in my last uh, position, my manager commended me for the regularly delivering high-quality work and my adaptability and capacity for change, as well as my readiness to uh, take on responsibilities that were outside of my scope. Last but not the least, I am the type of person, you know, who will provide excellent customer service to turn them into consistent supporters of the company. I will also be efficient with resources and supplies to help you save money and boost earnings. The next question is, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Well, this question talaga ay isa sa pinakamahirap na tinatanong when it comes sa any job interview or job application na may encounter mo. Bakit? Kasi nga naman, napakadaling sabihin yung mga strengths and positive sides mo. But what about yung weaknesses mo? Sisiraan mo ba yung sarili mo? Well, ang technique dyan is to always back up your answers with examples. So yun na nga, Meta Peeps. Just keep in mind that when answering this kind of question, make sure na isusupport mo yung mga sinabi mo with examples. Kasi, kung puro sagot ka lang, medyo magiging vague and theoretical yung dating ng mga answers mo. Say, for example, when it comes to your strength, you can say na you're hardworking, you're a very motivated person, you have extensive experience, you're a people person, or a team player. And what you can do to back that up with example, mag-isip ka ng situation kung saan nag-reflect or na-apply mo yung mga best qualities mo na yon. Now, let's have an example kung paano mo sasagutan yung question about what are your strengths. Okay, so I'd like to know, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Yeah, I am a hardworking individual and in the past I worked as a service crew in Pizza Hut while I'm studying. And I also have done several odd jobs before and I took in gigs to save money. And I'm also highly motivated. I try my best to always be energetic at work and when I was in Pizza Hut, I always went to work 15 minutes before the job and or schedule. And my manager did not need to tell me what to do, I was always proactive in doing tasks. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin very quickly how you can answer the what are your weaknesses type of question. So, ang technique dito, Meta Peeps, is to use positive scripting. So, paano to? You have to make sure to make your weaknesses sound and look like they are good things. Like, for example, it can be an opportunity for you to improve and you're acknowledging them para mas maging better ka sa field mo. Now, tingnan naman natin yung sample answer for this type of question. For my weaknesses is that I am a type of observant person and I tend to watch people as they go along but this does not mean that I don't like to participate. I actually love participating but I want to learn first before I go ahead and proceed. I want to know how often do, uh, others do it so that I can do my job right. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Well, this is one of the most commonly 
they ask job interview questions that you will encounter definitely kapag nag-apply ka. So ano nga ba ang reason again bakit kailangan pang tanungin to? Well definitely, this is a way ng mga interviewers para malaman kung meron kang vision or any career goals and plans once na mahar ka nila. And it's also a way for them to know if open ka for professional growth and development. For example, nag apply ka nga sa BPO or call center industry. So once natanungin ka ng where do you see yourself in 5 years time, dapat may idea ka na sa career path na tatahakin mo. For instance, in 5 years time, nakikita mo na yung sarili mo as a team leader na may hinahandle na very performative and very good na team. Or let's say you're already an operations manager. Well, bibigyan ko na rin kayo ng additional tip para naman maging pang malakasan yung magiging sagot nyo sa tanong na to. Which is, you have to make use of the 5 structure which stands for faithful, integrated, valuable, and experienced. Now, let's go ahead and tingnan natin yung example paano ginamit to. Alright, so I'd like to know, where do you see yourself 5 years from now? I am a faithful individual. So in 5 years time, I will still be working for your company and I will be fully integrated into the team. In 5 years, I'd be seen as a valuable asset to the company and have the experience needed to help train new team members or colleagues whenever they join the company. What about you? How will you answer yung mga first few questions na napag-usapan na natin? Share mo naman yung mga sagot mo sa comment section below. Why should we hire you? Well, isa lang naman to sa mga questions na maraming applicants ang nahihirapan talagang sagutin. Kasi nga naman, what's your edge or anong pinagkaiba mo sa ibang mga aplikante? Bakit ikaw ang dapat nilang i-hire? Well, to answer this question, babalik at babalik lang din tayo sa skills and experience na meron ka. So what you have to do is i-relate mo lahat ng skills and abilities na meron ka sa trabaho ang pinapasukan mo ngayon, say for example sa call center industry. So what you have to keep in mind is the words sell yourself. Tama! In a good and positive way ha, bigyan mo sila ng sagot na why should they hire you? Meaning, you have to highlight your skills, abilities, capabilities, and talents and make sure mo na magfi-fit ka sa company culture and standards nila. And make sure rin na magagampanan mo yung role or job description na ina-applyan mo. Now, let's take a look at this example. Alright, so can you tell me why should we hire you? I think you should hire me because I have extensive experience working in the BPO industry. Aside from that, I am hardworking and loyal, and I always aced my CSAT. I have also stayed there for two years, but we had bought a house here in Cavite, so I decided to left my previous job. If you hire me, I'll be an asset to your company, and I'm very excited to be part of such a successful BPO that is popular in this industry. Why do you want to work in this company? Oh, wag kang magugulat pag tinanong ka yan, ha? Usually, tinatanong talaga yan ng mga interviewers para malaman nila if you've done your assignment. Meaning, you did some background checking or nag-research ka talaga about sa company. Bakit? Kasi ito yung way as well ng mga interviewer para malaman kung interesado ka talaga sa kumpanya nila. Meaning, inaral mo yung culture or yung values na meron sila and if magsaswak or mag align yung vision, mission, and values na meron kayo. Isa sa pinakamalaki and pinaka-well established na BPO company yung pinag a mo. So, ito yung possible na pwede mong isagot once natanungin ka na why do you want to work in this company. Alright, so can you tell me why do you want to work for us? I want to work for you because you are one of the leading BPOs here in the Philippines. You have a strong reputation and I heard that here there is work-life balance and I want to experience that. I think working for you will allow me to grow in my career. Alright, it's nice to hear. Tell me about a time when a co-worker or a customer got angry with you. What happened and how did you handle it? Oh, huwag magtataka kapag natanong ka ng question na yan kasi very common, yes, tinatanong po yan, especially kapag nag apply ka sa BPO or call center industry. So ano ulit yung reason? Bakit kailangan tanongin to? Well, this is a way para malaman paano mo i-handle yung mga difficult and conflicting situations. Say for example, mayroong irate caller or nagkaroon ka ng conflict with your teammate or colleague. So, paano mo i-handle yung scenario? And kaya mo bang gawing positive yung outcome ng isang negative na situation? Dapat, ang pagkakasagot mo dito is light pero with conviction. Now, let's observe the sample answer. Okay, so Erica, can you tell me the last time a co-worker or let's say a customer got angry with you? What happened or how did you deal with that? Okay, for that one, I had a very irate caller before. She was very upset and she called me names and cursed a lot. Actually, she was a demanding 
to talk to my supervisor. So what I did is, you know, calmly told her that I will really try to help her. I also told her that instead of waiting for my supervisor, I can assist her right then and there. I just showed her that I was the right person to fix her issue and that, you know, I was willing to listen and that I cared about her and that I was willing to stand by her as we troubleshooted her personal computer. So that's it. So we fixed it in the end and she was very happy. Kung gusto mo pang malaman yung iba pang mga sure hard tips when it comes to job interview, then click mo lang yung link dito sa taas dahil gumawa kami ng playlist just for that para makatulong sa'yo. And if you're a fresh graduate or a career shifter, then you are very much welcome to apply here at Metacom dahil currently ay marami kaming openings for agent and non-agent positions. Just click the link below para naman makapag-start ka na with your application with us. Why did you leave your last job? Well again, this is one of the frequently asked questions during an interview. And ano nga ba yung dahilan talaga? Bakit kailangan pantanungin? Bakit ka nag-resign or iniwan mo yung dati mong trabaho? The main reason for asking that kind of question is to gain some insights kahit papaano about the applicant's character and behavior towards work. Well, hindi naman natin ini-invalidate yung mga dahilan ng bawat isa bakit kailangan nating iwan yung previous company or bakit kailangan nating mag-resign. Maybe some of us, ang magiging reason natin is toxic yung work environment natin or nakaaway natin yung colleague or let's say team leader natin or yung bosses natin from our previous work. Pero, huwag na huwag mong iba mouth or sisiraan yung previous work or company mo kahit gaano paka-toxic or kapangit yung naging experience mo with them. Bakit? Kasi sa'yo din magre-reflect yan. Sa real talk lang, yung mga interviewers, tinatandaan nila kung sino yung mga applicants na let's say may tendency na manira ng mga previous company nila. Kasi ang magiging thinking nila dyan is, what if i-hire namin to and along the way, eh makaroon din kami ng conflict with this employee and the company. So, in the end, ganun din ang gagawin nila. Sisiraan din nila yung company. Ganun ang mga naiisip ng mga hiring managers. Kaya the key for this one is positive skills scripting. Positive scripting in the sense na kahit ang pangit na nung message behind dun sa sinashare or kinukwento or sinasabi mo, is nagagawa mo pa rin positive yung maging dating or outcome nito. Like for example, most of the employees, ang isang dahilan kung bakit sila nagre-resign sa previous work or company nila is low compensation or mababang pasahod. Well, instead of saying na kaya ka umalis sa previous work mo is because mababa yung pasahod, pwede mo nalang sabihin, you are looking for growth and development instead. Also, bigyan ko na rin kayo ng additional guide, paano nyo successfully masasagot yung tanong na why did you leave your last job using the CAN structure which stands for Chapter, Achieved, and Next. Okay, so this time, I'd like to know why did you leave your last job? I left my uh, previous job because I am ready for my career's next chapter and I'm happy to say that we achieved many wonderful things while I've been working there and that's thanks to my wonderful employers. However, I am now prepared for the next phase of my growth which I hope will take place with your business and will allow me to collaborate with other like-minded individuals who want to achieve great things. What do you like to do outside of work? Well, MetaPips is isa to sa pinaka-interesting na question na maaari mong ma-encounter during your job interview. So, bakit nga ba kailangang itanong pa to? Well, basically, this is to know your personality outside of work. Simple lang naman, itong question na to, nagpo-focus or nagsicenter kung ano ba yung mga interests, hobbies, or other pastimes mo kapag wala ka sa loob ng building ng company nyo or let's say, day off mo. So, for this kind of question, pwede kang mag-share ng mga bagay na pinagkakaabalahan mo. Say, for example, you love doing activities with your family, let's say every weekend or every off mo, lumalabas kayo, namamasyal kayo. Or if may pets ka, let's say you have a dog or meron ka rin mga alagang pusa, pwede mong i-share yan. Well, the key point here in answering this question is to share something with the interviewer that makes you human. Pero, be mindful and careful when sharing things about your personal life kasi baka mamaya, TMI na pala. Say for example, you kept on sharing about your family. Mamaya, maisip ng HR or ng interviewer niyan, ang focus mo lang lagi is in your family and baka mamaya mapabayaan mo na yung work. So, you have to be mindful all the time. What is your salary expectation? Well, MetaPips, this is for the applicants na meron ng previous work experience or kahit sa mga newbie tinatanong din to ha. So, ano nga ba yung main reason bakit kahit medyo awkward e eh, pinag-uusapan agad yung tungkol sa sweldo or let's say compensation? Well, ito lang naman yan kasi ito yung magiging starting point ng negotiation between the company and the potential employee para malaman nila kung anong kind ng benefit 
benefits and compensations yung pwede nilang ibigay sa'yo or i-offer sa'yo especially when it comes to BPO industry. If you want a bigger pay or let's say you're expecting a higher and competitive monthly salary, be honest lang. Pwede mo namang sabihin yan and you can also ask din kung magkano yung in-offer nila. Pero dapat lang na reasonable yung amount or let's say salary na sasabihin mong in-expect mo. You have to know as well kung ano ba yung going rate or let's say industry standard as of the moment. Now that you have an idea about the nine most common job interview questions, for sure, kaya-kaya mo nang makapasa sa next job interview mo with the help of practicing and right preparation. Kaya naman, give yourself a try now by clicking the link below to start your application with us here at Medicom, where we can profile you to the most suitable BPO account just for you. Well, thank you so much again, MetaPips, for watching this video. Just don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as well in our YouTube channel. And see you in our next video. Bye!